Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to show you how to restore a database backup which is useful in itself but in particular so that we have some objects and data to start using for the rest of these tutorials. Um, with the release of SQL Server 2016, Microsoft released a new sample database called Worldwide Importers which we're going to download and restore. So I will put the link for this page into the description in case you would like to read some more of this info um, and also so that you've got the link for the download. Um, so we're just going to click here onto this link. And then we want to select this option here for Worldwide Importers Full dot back. And save. And we'll just wait now for that to download. Now that the backup has downloaded, um, we are just going to drop it into our um, default backup location. Um, which you can find here. If you right click onto your SQL instance and click onto properties and then database settings you can find your default um, locations here and you can change this um, if you want to. Okay, So we will just drag this down now into our backup location and then we can go back into SSMS and then we're going to right click onto databases and select restore database. Okay, So we're going to click device here and click on this button here um, we're going to restore it from a file so we're going to leave this as file and then we're just going to add here so that's the file that we want to add so just click OK. And then just click OK again. And now we just wait for it to do the restore. So now that that's finished, we can just click on to OK here. And we can now see that it's there in our database list. So that's it. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, um, please like and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to add any comments below. Um, and the next tutorial in this series will be showing you how to structure a SQL query so that we can start doing some cool stuff. Okay, bye!